Ooh, what is up guys, and of course, uh, welcome to a showdown battle, actually, in a league format called MPL. Now, before I even talk about my opponents here, I have to mention that MPL is a league famous for more of their actually battlers in it than they're actually pocket tubing, because most of them aren't pocket tubers, and it, I actually believe that's a good thing in this kind of league, because that means that people that are here are known for their battling skills, which makes this league probably the most competitive one around, which is good for me because I'm not too well rounded in Generation 7's league format yet, which is kind of reason I kind of threw myself into a lot of leagues recently, which may or may not be a bad thing or good. Well, I'll have to really consider the consequences of not having the time to prep. Now, with that said, um, I was definitely not predicting this team that much. I was definitely feeling the Queen, the Slowbro, Tornadoes, and Terrakion to make it, but not Crabominal or Golurk. And he did, he did actually have Ditto on his side, so... Uh, I was definitely not bringing any setup here with that in mind because I felt that that could be seriously dangerous for me. Uh, so a bit disappointed actually that uh, I didn't bring any setup because that would have been great outside of course Master Superior. Most of my sweepers have actually substituted to be able to deal with that ditto really, really nicely, which clearly I'm not forced to do anymore. So with that said, he brought the team that I think could deal with my team really nicely. And I'm going to predict him to lead off with either Nidoking or his Tornadoes, as I'm going to lead off with my Tapu Koko, hoping that if Tornadoes is his lead, I can go for a substitute as he U-turns out, or even Hot Switch, I wish seems more likely. Anyway, with all this said, let's go. So he started with his Papa Smurf, which is a Golurk, and I really didn't know what to do from this position. Um, I could start hurting him with an Ice Beam or a... Um, Hidden Power Ice, but I really wanted to set up a substitute, hoping that he didn't want to go for uh, getting any prior damage on his um, um, Golurk, or if he even was going to set up Stealth Rocks. But uh, it is a dumb series of play here, since, of course, he's going to go directly for the Earthquake, and there's really nothing he can do. I don't want to risk my type of Coco just yet, as I'm going to hard switch to Superior, as he predicts that goes for an Ice Punch, which severely cripples my Superior. Uh, though Leftovers does kind of take me back, it still is unfortunate, as uh, I'm going to go straight for a Leaf Storm, which will, wi will of course miss. Though it's quite right, since of course that would have been a resisted hit, so I'm going to be forced to switch out now and go to Registeel, as he goes for a U-turn, which clearly would have KO'd me anyway. Uh, as he switched in the Papa Smurf, and I was decided to stay in here because he doesn't have any Spinner, which means that the rocks are here to stay. As uh, I really don't have another switch in for, of course, Earthquake, which is actually quite unfortunate, consider, of course, my Pokemon that I actually have benched for this possible game that could have possibly do well. So, uh, Regis is going to fall there as I switch in Keldeo. So I'm going to directly go for Toxic, knowing Slower is going to come in. But, you know, if Leafs aren't going to miss, then Toxic will miss too. That simply is just the game. So, I got pretty frustrated there, mainly because I really felt that that was definitely not something I needed. As I'm going to switch in my Alaka Sam here, and I was really feeling he was going to switch out as I trace his Regenerator. He doesn't do that, he actually stays in, keeps attacking. Um, I was feeling that, come on, I could much likely have Shadow Ball, but no, that didn't happen. As I'm just going to bring in my main switch into this, which is Gustlor, which actually waltz his Pokemon really well. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything, but I will go for Heavy Slam here. Or, I mean, uh, Giga Gyarabal for his Trachyon, which didn't come in. I was feeling Dark Pulse was a very, very high possibility. As I'm going to bring Tapu Koko as he U-turns out. And Tapu Koko is, much like the rest of my team, not as well-rounded anymore. So I'm just going to go Hidden Power, Ice, and uh, pretty much sack uh, Tapu Koko. Because um, I don't have a switch in for Earthquake, as sta stated, because of, uh, well... Didn't bring anything flying. So, Keldeo's gonna come in and just go for Skull and just gonna kill it. Uh, I guess it's very lucky for me that I should pull that off and I didn't switch out to, of course, the, the Slowbro. Uh, as, as this switch I didn't, didn't want to stay in because Hurricane does kill me. So we're gonna trade it yet again, Regenerator, as Hurricane will do a lot of damage on us. Uh, but I will be able to outspeed. Sadly, I won't actually kill him, which, you know, why didn't I have Side Shock? That clearly speaks its own. <laughs> clear language there. Anyway, he's gonna bring his Terrakion as I will actually bring my superior. No, I'll bring my Kelly actually. Uh, as I go, I do believe directly for Skull this time again. 
I'm trying to remember like the last product. At this point, I was actually fairly frustrated because I didn't think that anything I did actually worked against me. I was trying to predict there that he would switch out and try to get momentum. He does not do that. And my killer gets severely crippled as a Gust Lord. As I stated before, it's my number one switch in here. I didn't switch it in time after time because I was really predicting him to do something different, which he clearly didn't do. And at this time, I'm just going to go for, I do believe, Dark Pulses. I really don't have any way of attacking him, as he, much the same, does not have a way of necessarily hurting me. Gustler will eventually win this matchup, but uh, I was trying to uh, get something out of this, as I missed the Draco, which is just awesome. I really needed that, as <laughs> I will connect the Draco this time. Which, had I connected the first one, I would not have been so whittled down as I am right now. Because I am really falling fast, as he's going to just switch in Larry. And this is pretty much a wrap-up. As stated here, I don't necessarily do all the work throughout this game, as uh, I do believe I'll go for a second Leaf Storm here. And uh, yet again, this would probably be close of a KO, but we miss yet again. But it won't matter, as stated because I have, I have so few Pokemons left, I can't necessarily do anything. I'm going to switch in Gustlord, actually, and soak that hit, as uh, I do believe we predict a Hurricane now. As uh, No, I went for a U-turn. All right. I'm trying to react to remedy like the last part here. I was kind of blacking out, just drinking beer. I was kind of just waiting to lose. It's one of those real rare cases where you just give up the game. Um... As I go for a Toxic there, and clearly, I'm, I'm not at least, for, for what it's worth, I'm not 6 0 at least. I do believe a little 4 0 here because I got a switch in Superior. Just spam the Leaf Storms and hope for the best. And uh, sadly, it does not care. I do believe that Slowbro actually is Assault Vested now, thinking about it. Uh, as Toxic will, of course, take me out. And my last Pokemon is, of course, Gust Lord, and he can't do anything against any Pokemon that is left due to the whittle down of its HP. So his Crawdon will wrap up this game, and that will be GG in Rob's favor. Now, just a quick rundown here, because I do believe my opponent, even with the hacks in mind, he does deserve this game. I do believe his prep is on par, if anything, and... Um, I was getting frustrated when it was actually, I do believe, what was that? I lost one, I missed one Draco, I missed one Toxic, which definitely would have been helpful. And I missed two Leaves from one of them, of course, being a bit more important than the other. But Goldurk was something that I didn't do necessarily all that well against, and I do believe he prepped rather well for it. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think I went too simplistic here. I didn't, as stated before, if you followed me on Twitter, uh, or I mean on YouTube, Twitter too, to some extent, I guess. I didn't have time to necessarily prep all that much for the game. I looked at the match that I was going to face of those 12 months, or do you believe 12 or 11 months I was possibly facing. I did decide that D6 is the one I'm going to use. They are the ones that have least amount of trouble against his overarching theme. And um, as stated here, not going with setup might actually have been backfire on me quite a lot here because the biggest issue I had here was that Due to, of course, he having a ditto, I wanted to be able to set up, but his matchup was just so scary. If he's actually so the tracing end of my setup, I would fall pretty darn, pretty darn hard. So, um, I think he did a good job here. I, I really can't because I definitely was prepping for something else. Then um, he brought something that I definitely didn't feel I could do too much against. And of course, that gold org is definitely up there. Uh, I probably should have actually had Psyshock on my Alakazam. I kind of feel that that was a waste of a Pokemon at that point, because Alakazam could have been pretty darn scared throughout this match, but instead I'll just make it free fall. And same with Tapu Koko. Don't believe I do anything to make that, that damn Koku that viable throughout this battle whatsoever. Even though we had all the possibility of pulling that off, I did not do any kind of conjunction to make that work properly. Uh, Superior, very weird that they fall so fast, because it would have done a lot here. I don't think I had the right predictions in mind. The rest kind of is okay. Regiseal getting the rocks up was the game plan, and Gustler did an excellent job of walling Slowbro. Kind of unfortunate that I didn't use it more and didn't, or actually predicted so much that he would predict Slowbro, that, or the, the Gustler, that I just hoped that he would do something else, which clearly didn't happen. But yeah... As stated, I do lose this game very fairly. Rob did an excellent job prepping against my team. And it's the word of winner. The 4-0 speaks for itself. I don't believe there was any kind of environment here that would make me win this battle. But as stated, that Toxic Mids was, um, as I was playing the game, had me pretty much, I wouldn't say salty, but I, I definitely felt I gave up. Um, I, I just, I didn't need that. I kind of felt that this... The team was so tough already against my, my team, and missing the Toxic kind of just made this game 
unbearable for me of doing well against. So um, that probably explains a lot of the, of the players that follows. But anyway, Rob, thank you so much for the battle. You clearly showed your brawn, if anything. I'll see if I can battle you again once I'm in the right mindset. Because this week it was super stressful. And um, it is unfortunate that I don't feel I'm bringing my A game here. Says you clearly brought brought that, if anything. You did fairly well here. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, even though it's a bit of a different one. I'm not too accustomed to recording on Showdown, as you guys can see. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing this till it works. Anyway, guys, thank you, of course, so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.